Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we are now, this is My Math 1105, John Salek. We're in section 1.1, and this is part two, okay? All the videos for part one were finished. I believe there were eight of them. Now you're going to be watching the 1.1 part two videos. The first thing we need to remember in this section, because this is going to be a geometry section, one of the things you need to remember from basic geometry is the Pythagorean theorem, okay? And if you recall from basic geometry, the Pythagorean theorem has to do with a right triangle. In fact, I will put a right angle marker in there indicating that's the 90 degree angle. And the length of the legs are going to be represented by the letters A and B, and the length of the hypotenuse, which is the longest side of the right triangle, is going to be represented by C. So this is A, one of the legs is A, one of the legs is B, and the hypotenuse has length C. Remember, the two legs form the right angle, so A and B are the lengths of the legs, and C is the length of the longest side, which is called the hypotenuse. And if you recall what the Pythagorean theorem says is, if we have this picture, okay, if we have a picture of a right triangle that looks like this, then we know that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. This is the conclusion of the Pythagorean theorem. If somebody asks you to state the Pythagorean theorem, you should always start with the drawing first as the if part, because they need to see what you're talking about, and then this is the conclusion. All right. On notebook paper, I want to show you something. If I have a right triangle, and I call the length of this leg A, and the length of this leg B, and the length of the hypotenuse C, watch what I can do. This is not a proof. This is just sort of visualization. If I take this leg and turn it into a square, and if I take this leg and turn it into a square, and if I take the hypotenuse, and use it to create a square, we get a drawing that looks like this. Now remember to find the area of a square, you do side times side. Well, A times A here would be A squared. So the area of this square is A squared. B times B here would be B squared. So the area of this square is B squared. And up here, C times C the area of this square would be c squared. And basically what the Pythagorean theorem says is the sum of these two smaller areas adds up to the great room. So it's kind of like if you had a house, your kid's bedroom's square footage add up to the square footage in the master bedroom. You with me? The two smaller areas added together equal the larger area. And that is what the Pythagorean theorem is saying. 